No borders, no nations, stop deportation. Protesters are responding to the latest sweep of Bay Area ICE raids. Today, about 200 protesters gathered outside the Immigration and Customs Enforcement building in San Francisco. Demonstrators chanted, shut down ICE, while carrying signs and forming human chains. ICE officials say that they've arrested more than 150 people since Sunday, and the arrest operation isn't over yet. And tonight, three San Diego Dreamers are getting ready to go to the Capitol and bring their concerns to Congress. And 10 News reporter Bree Steffens spoke to them about the message they want to get across. The people united will never be divided. It's documented. I'm afraid. For months now, dozens of protests across San Diego calling for a final decision on DACA. Sometimes politicians forget what we have to experience here being so close to the border. Dulce is a dreamer. She's flying to Washington, D.C. this weekend to make sure she's at the Capitol when that original March 5th deadline hits Monday. March 5th is a very significant date for us. Uh, the president gave Congress six months to come up with a permanent fix for this DACA crisis, and it didn't happen. Uh, so we want to make sure we're in D.C. Uh, when March 5th comes. DACA is basically in the limbo, in the legal limbo. The group will go to marches and rallies in Washington and meet with senators and congressmen and women, pleading with them for a permanent solution. Absolutely, yes, I'm nervous. This is the first time that I'm actually uh, being in D.C ever and also it's going to be the first time that I'm going to be sitting in, in, in a room where we're, you know, with members of Congress. Francisco is also going with her, one of three San Diego Dreamers determined to take their stories to the top. More than anything, uh, we just want to make sure that our border reality is not lost in the dialogue. And just having that uncertainty of not knowing what could happen in the next six months or eight months, knowing that uh, DACA is basically in the limbo. <laughs> Bree Steffen, 10 News. A small group of Dreamers flies out Saturday. They raised all of their own money for this trip, but if you want to help them by donating, we've got a link right now to their GoFundMe page on our website, 10news.com, under the red television button. The